they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm poking them down. We turn the spots no frowns. Gang hop out, then we clear on the What's going on, y'all? It's Lauren K. We here at Talk of the Town. And who's in the town today? Ken of Money. All right, now. Big Money. Period. Whole lot of money. Ooh, any more? Blue Money. Ooh. I can go all day. I ain't, I ain't gonna, let me not it's the AKAs up. for me. <laughs> okay, so to start off, we want to get you introduced to the people. So we're going to play a game of rapid fire questions, okay? So I'm going to say the question, and you answer as quick as you can. Hey, so. All right. All right. First one, what's your favorite city to visit? Texas. Houston. What's your sign? Sagittarius. <sighs> what's your go-to R&B song? Like you just want to sing your heart out. Damn. Is it giving Keisha Cole, Mary J. Blige? Right, old school. Like some maze or something. Ooh, before I let go? Before I All right let now. go, yeah. If you could live in any movie, what movie would it be? You got to live there. For I was in a movie. Right. Blow. You going to pick that one? Blow. You would live there? You would live in that movie? Yeah. All right. What's the nastiest food you've ever eaten? Uh, Beans. Like, I don't like beans. That's the nastiest food you ever it's, eat? It's, I, ain't, I don't try all type of foods. I ain't going to lie. I, ain't, I like to stick to what I know. Okay, it's giving picky? Picky. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's your favorite song by you? My favorite song by me? Mm -hmm. I don't got a favorite song by me. You have to have a favorite song. Whatever song I made yesterday. I made a song yesterday. It's called For The Dough. Unreleased? Yeah, it ain't now yet. Exclusive. Who's your celebrity crush? I ain't Christian, I know better. I don't do no Christian. If I want you, I'm coming. I just ain't made it yet. All right, well, who you ain't make it to yet? I ain't got nobody on my list. If I see it, I want I'm just going to go get her. <sighs> Tomatoes, whatever. What's a song <laughs> that you love that people wouldn't expect you to listen to? Um, Party in the USA. Mm, okay. If you could pick any talent in the world to be a pro at outside of music, what would it be? In the what? Any talent in the world. So, any sport. Um, Cooking. Drawing. Ooh. Cooking. Okay. What's your favorite phrase? Whole lot of everything. Okay. Who's the last person you texted? <sighs> My manager, so we can hurry up and come in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's shade. That was shade. <laughs> okay. And the last one. What's one word you had trouble spelling as a child? A word I had trouble spelling? As a child, yeah. I don't know. I'm a good... I can spell. I ain't had no trouble spelling. All right. So can I. But still, like, you know, restaurant used to whoop my ass a little bit. Restaurant. Um, Wednesday is not everybody's favorite. Somebody said beautiful. I know you know, don't the know little, how to spell The little word. long word that everybody used to say. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. That's the word. I swear to God, that's what I was about to say. That's the word. That's the only word I couldn't. I swear to God, that's what I was about yeah, to say. Yeah, I ain't had the patience for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a song. You like music, so why you ain't learn the song? Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Yeah, I know Yeah, the but they teach you how to spell it in the song. I ain't with it. All right. It's a no for him. Mm -mm, it's too long. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to the very beginning. Mm. What Were you born in Memphis? Yeah. Okay, so what was your early life like? I, mean, I, just, I always was in trouble. I just was curious, trying stuff mm -hmm. outside. You know what I'm saying? My folks, my folks worked a lot. Mm -hmm. So I had a lot of time to myself, so I just was wandering around trying stuff, doing stuff. You was bad? I was bad, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. got put out of every school I went to. Oh, how many schools you went to in total? Uh, maybe six or something like that. Damn. Yeah. All right. I was smart though. I graduated early. Okay. I went. To, I I went to college for about three months and got put out of there too. Oh damn. And my mom told me you get, keep getting put out of school. You got to go. To, you got to go to college or get a job. I want to get no job. When I was like seventeen, so I tried to go to little, little HBCU Ooh, in the hood we in South Memphis. Called Lamar on. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I went tried to go there about a couple months. Man, I got put out there motherfucker so fast. <laughs> I got put out. They put me you out. You want to tell the people them what you did? Or that's classified? I smacked the nigga with a tray. Oh. Yeah. It was his fault. It wasn't my fault, though. Don't, <laughs> don't look at me like that. He was, I'm 17 years old. I'm a baby. Yeah, but a tray is tough. He was like tw 28 or something. He picking on me. Mm. He should have yeah. picked up somebody his own size. Yeah. He ain't going to pick on me no more. Period. I'm not having that. <laughs> so are you always into music? 
I always like music. I like music. Mm -hmm. I always be in trouble. So I like I'm in trouble. I can't. I, you know, you on punishment. Mm -hmm. Well, you, they try to put me on punishment. Like you can't go outside. Can't. This I don't listen to the radio. Okay. Yeah. And that was like your little escape. Yeah, I like music. So did you, when you were younger, did you just like it? Like you just listened to it? Or were you like spitting bars here and there? I mean, I ain't just listen to it like a regular person listen to it. Like mm -hmm. I listen to it, but I'm rapping it word for word. Though. Okay. Like I was really learning folk songs mm -hmm. growing up. Like I was into music. I, I always liked music, but I wasn't on no shit like, hey, I'm finna be a rapper. Or mm -hmm. Growing up like, more I want to be a rapper. I don't want no shit like that. But I always like music. You know, I know good music. I know okay. it's on whack. Okay. Yeah. So what did you want to be as a child? And what made you pivot to decide, like, okay, I'm going to do this music? When I was a child, what did I want to be? Man, I used to want to do all type of shit. Whatever. If I heard it made a lot of money, I wanted to try it. I know. That's right. You yeah. knew from young. Yeah. Anything. So anything that make money. So what made you say, all right, I'm going to be a rapper? I'm gonna take this serious. My I tried. I just my one time I was my I just I had went about the little um little headset like the McDonald's giant with the <laughs> headphones and the little thing, and then she I had put the little program on the computer. I was just like, man, I'm gonna just try to rap and see how this work. Okay. I tried. I put the put the song on um, on Facebook, mm -hmm. and everybody was liking it. So what she, year is this? I was in like the twelfth grade, I think. Okay, that's a long time ago, though. So huh. you've been doing this for a minute. Yeah, but I wasn't doing it on no serious note. But I put it out; they liked it. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm finna keep doing this. Then, mm -hmm. then I just be playing with it here and there, dropping stuff. But every time I drop something, it do what it need to do. Period. And then, like by the time I was like eighteen, nineteen. I was like, I think I'll really try to put some music out. And really, I shot me a little video. I had my old heads. They they was rapping. Man, they pushing me, telling me just just try it, bro. Take it serious. Mm -hmm. Start shooting videos. Actually going to a real studio. <clears throat> and like I said, everything I did just was going. People like this. So I'm like, shit, I might as well do this. Then let's, let's do it. So how do you go from might as well do it to meeting Dolph and Kila? Cause. One Glock, so with Glock, like with them, like with the headsets and all that, like he was doing it with me. It's my oh, partner. This my okay. this my day one partner. So this okay. this one. So y'all knew each other before. The yeah, music. this was we fourteen. We like okay. just come out of middle school type shit. So it's like we trying it together. Like just mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. But then as time went by, like I said, I was doing it by myself and just you know what I'm saying, not mm -hmm. taking it serious. You know what I'm saying? Then. As time went by, I'm in Vist started, like I said, shooting videos, like going to the studio and putting my time and my money into it. And I remember when Dolph signed Glock, mm -hmm. like he was like, bro, you want to sign? Like, and I was like, man, I'm not going to try to do it myself real quick. Oh, you dubbed it. Like, let me, I ain't dubbed it. Nah, I ain't going to say I dubbed it. <laughs> I, did, I said, word for word. <laughs> Hey, bro, I want to do what you did. You did it by yourself. I'm going to try to do it by myself. That's okay. what I told him. But at the same time, I was like, but can you give me a feature, though? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, bro, I'm going to pay. I'm like, bro, I'll pay for the video. I'm like, okay. I'll pay for the video. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. what I need to do, I'll pay for radio. So you're non serious. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then, man, he was cool with it. He wasn't no hater. He wasn't like, no, nah, you ain't trying to fuck. So, mm -hmm. like, you ain't trying to fuck with me. So, nah, I ain't going to help you. Like, he still gave me my future. I st we still shot all the video and all this before I was signed, before I had any business with him. Mm -hmm. And she, he respected my work. Very solid. That, That's that, real solid in him. Yeah. So what made you decide, like, all right, I'm going to stop playing and I'm going to sign with you? Because he made it make sense. My, I was, it was a lot of people trying to sign me. A lot of labels trying to sign me. A lot of folks trying to give me what they wanted to give me. And I was turning this shit down. Mm. I turned down plenty of deals. Mm. I was turning this shit down. Like, nope, nope, nope. Then one day, like, I, I ain't gonna lie, that's why I said, like, I love him so much, because I used to just call him and ask him about stuff that a contract mean, or, like, what this mean, what that is, and he'd give me the answer. Or mm -hmm. if I call my bro, you think this is a good idea? Like, do you think this is a good idea? I'm like, no. Nah. <laughs> like, well, it ain't a good idea then. <laughs> like, I don't want you to feel like I'm trying to rank, but he never again was like, he, he always was saying, mm -hmm. 
man, bro, whatever you want to do, you can do. I don't wait, no, you come on. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I got you, bro. I'm finna keep trying. <laughs> I'm keep pushing. I'll keep pushing. So, my one day, I don't know. It's a certain, certain group of people that tried to sign me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And this what made me respect them so much, cause man, they called me in the meeting. My folks were like, man, we gonna give you so and so, so and so. They were like, look, bro, we can't give you no money, but oh, no. we gonna give you some jewelry. We gonna make it look good. We gonna let you drive the cars. We gonna count. We got all the count for you. I'm like, all oh, the what? <laughs> But like we got all the count, we gonna make it look good. We gonna tell them you sign for this, then the third. I'm like man, bro, I got a show tomorrow. Like I'm gonna right. book my flight back to the house. I'm ready to roll. Right. I'm like how much you want? I told them folks a number. They were like, woo, this young nigga want too much money. <laughs> like hell no. Like like man, get me to the house. So I end up talking to bro, and I I asked, I told him what was going on. That's why I said like we gotta. Like, it don't matter what was going on. He ain't don't know, ah, oh, why you even talking to these folks type shit? And I'm like, bro, it's my career. And whatever I want to do, he was always behind. I'm like, bro, them folks, I just left me with them folks. Them folks trying to play. I ain't trying to. They talk. They might say, how much you tell them you want? I say, shit, I told them on X, Y, Z. Like, don't worry about it. I got you. I'm like, man. He like, I'm telling you, I got you. I'm like, what you saying? You going to give me that? He's like, man, that ain't shit. I'm like, I'll say no more. I know that's right. Then he turned right back around and, man, it went, what I asked for, it was way more than he, Oof. man, that man don't play. Like, that's why he, he for real. I know that's right. It, it definitely seems like y'all had a genuine bond. For sure. Um, way All beyond that. the music. Even in a uh, ramen, you say ramen or you say Raymond? I say ramen noodles, ramen noodles. What you just say? Ramen, Raymond, however. I say Roman though. All right, boom. Roman. I just say, I say noodles. Roman. I really don't say Roman or Raymond. Raymond is a person. <laughs> I no, say that's Roman. Raymond. Raymond. I say Roman. Roman. I say Roman. <laughs> Roman. Roman noodles. Roman noodles. <laughs> okay. Roman noodles. Digital skills. Roman noodles. Digital skills. <laughs> you say rest in peace, my brother, Young Dolph. Yeah, my whole life a major flip. So, how did his death impact you personally, and then your career? It just turned me into a whole different machine. It just made me be like, man, I got to go hard. Mm -hmm. Like, like all them years of playing, I was just telling you about, like, all this shit out the window. I ain't playing it. I ain't trying. I ain't trying to see what it do. I'm going to make this shit do what I want it to do. Mm -hmm. Like, I ain't playing. Like, it just made me be like, I got something to prove. I got some shit to step up for. It gave me a reason. It made it made me want to rap because I ain't never really care. Mm -hmm. Like, I care now. I give a damn now. I love so, that. Yeah. yeah, I can't let none die. And I know the rest of the folks around my family to die. I'm just going to do my part and go crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So did you find out, um, like, did somebody call you or did you see it on social media first? Mm-mm. This is my... I actually called, called his phone when somebody, somebody called me and I called the damn phone. Mm -hmm. So it was like, like, hell no, this shit ain't happen for real. Cause I had just, I think I had talked to him. I can't remember that exact moments before that. Cause mm -hmm. this shit just went blank to me. Yeah. But it's like, bro, I know somebody for sure called me and told me what happened. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Cause Memphis so small, this shit quick. And they called me and told me. And I'm like, hell nah, that ain't happen. Right. I'm like, man, y'all tripping? Don't say no shit like that. And like, got out the phone, and tried to call the phone. So, given that you have a personal relationship with him, one thing I was just talking about this on my Instagram story yesterday. Um, when somebody passes away, I feel like, like, you know, everybody will share it on their stories with the RIP. They'll, everybody will share like the TSR Andrews post. So given that you know him personally, how do you feel about like constantly having to see that type of thing on social media? Man, he deserved that and more. Shit. So you look at it as a positive thing. Post this shit, man. Post on, man. Show the world how much you love. If you didn't know him and you heard about how good he is, post, 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 spread it, keep it going, keep it alive, man. It's a great yeah. human. I ain't been telling nobody, oh, you didn't fuck with him back then. Man, I don't give a damn if you didn't yeah. know him. You know him now. Like, That's man, is there really over at. respect? You feel me? Yeah. yeah. I was never a fan of the whole, like, oh, but y'all didn't like so and so before. Like, mm, it don't matter. You want them to know his music now or not? Like, yeah, straight up. Right, yeah. keep streaming it, keep that man independent, hundred percent. Your kids still here, 
His family still here, man. New fans need to be, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing yeah. wrong with some new fans and new money to still go on his family, making sure he good. Like, it's overstood. So, what are your thoughts on, um, I never know how to say this word, post, post Thomas? Post Thomas. Postmas. Okay. What are your thoughts on Postmas? Postmas. Post. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't know what the word means. Okay. It's like when people pass away, and then people like their labels or their family or whatever will put out whatever music that they recorded prior to. You know. They need. They fans still need. Like just because you die, don't mean yo. Yo, legacy die. Mm -hmm. Yo, yo, team. Like you still got team, still got family. You still here in spirit. Yeah. You ain't dead. You mm -hmm. just, you know what I'm saying. You just somewhere, you somewhere else, yeah. overlooking and blessing. Like that's how I look at it. Cause I know every time I get up, I still feel them around. You know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Everything I do, I still feel them. So. Yeah, you need the music to go still be going out. You got fans that still want to hear new, like what he was working on. Like, yeah, you want to hear all that. Well, I know a lot of people they draw the line at like, so let's use Pop Smoke for us, you know, it's New York. When Pop Smoke passed away, it was like they put out his music, but they also had features on the album. And a lot of people were saying, well, like, Pop Smoke wouldn't have worked with this person. Like, that's not him. This is manufactured at this that, point. Now, when it comes to that, Mm -hmm. Yes, like then I ain't, but see, like I don't know how they did it, but like, like say with with Dolph album, like that sound like this Dolph album, like okay. you hear it, that shit, you know what I'm saying? It's that it don't. That's the point of having like we a family. We're not a just, just a, label. a label. Like yeah. we a family, and it's like your family know what you would do. Like we ain't finna go put nobody on no song that mm -hmm. he like. I don't even think they'll put somebody on the song. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't. Like, uh, I wouldn't do that though. Like what you saying? How they okay. just put random people on just to make the project go big, and yeah. that ain't that ain't authentic. If that ain't something, that, if his fans saying or his people saying like, oh, he want to do a song with them, then that ain't not like somebody need to be overseeing that they actually know him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, not just for the numbers type shit. Fuck the numbers. Makes sense. So I know he had a huge part in. You putting out your project and like the execution of the project, um, but even though he's not with us anymore physically, I could see how the label would still have hands on your project. Now I know you said that you like to rap from the heart. So do you ever find yourself like at a crossroads between creativity and well, you just said fuck the numbers, but like I don't the business run out side. Of shit. I don't run out of shit to say. I know my <laughs> business. <laughs> like I can't do no wrong with this shit. Like. And like with my team, they respect whatever I'm on, whatever I want to do. Like That's I ain't so gotta cool. worry about nobody saying, "Nah, there ain't no good song," or "Nah, you can't put this out." Or, nah, I do what I want to do, and they standing behind whatever I do. They know I ain't gonna say nothing wrong or do nothing wrong. You feel me? Yeah. It's just it's a respect thing between you and your team. Like if you got if you ain't got no say so, you a slave. I ain't no slave. Mm -hmm. That's a yeah. word. Yeah. Bottom that period. So it seems like community is really, really important to you from your relationship with Dolph to your relationship with Key Glock, the, the label, like you said, as a family, or even like the way you treat the people around you on your vlogs. So does how does you blowing up affect the people around you? Meaning your relationship with them. Like, so it, put my team for example. Mm -hmm. I feel like me getting bigger and working harder. Give them more things to do. Get them, because everybody paid. I know about it around for free. Right. I make sure everybody good. You know what I'm saying? So the mm -hmm. more work I do, the bigger I get, the more money they make, the more, you know what I'm saying, the more into it they get, the more doors they might open for them. Because I'm one of the people, like, once you off work, you go do your thing. Yeah. We might be, I don't matter where we in the country. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're going to do after you get away from me. I right. ain't holding nobody hostage. So I ain't no telling what doors you might walk in just mm -hmm. being with me. So this my team, like you can just grow however you want to grow with me. Then my partners, like it's just I feel like when they see me doing this shit and seeing me taking this shit serious, cause they know how serious I am in it, like about mm -hmm. street shit and shit. Mm -hmm. It's like once they see me like mine, fuck the streets, like this shit ain't nothing. Fuck the street money, fuck all this shit, like that ain't nothing. Like I'm finna focus on this music, I'm finna focus on this rap. That give them like they trying to see what the hell I see. So that right. you know what I'm saying. And it motivate them to be like, bro, I got to get to that state. So that's, I love that. That's why I work hard so I can make them be like, bro, there's more out here. I love that. You know what I'm saying? Then my family, shit, they going to benefit regardless. I get them everything. I don't want to go to them. Does that burden ever get heavy? Well, or do you look at it as a burden to what? have to... 
to take provide care of for so many different people. Hell no, I don't look at it as a burden. It's not a burden if it ain't no burden. I ain't going for that. I ain't gonna lie, cause it's like I ain't gonna, I ain't, I ain't always been rich, but I always been getting some money. Mm -hmm. like I don't, from 12, 13, I've been gambling, I've been getting money, so it's like, and I always got my money, and when it spent it on buying my mama some or mm -hmm. buying something out of some or doing something, so it's like, I ain't never had a problem helping people and doing something for people, and I ain't finna let nobody get over on me, so I can't, you can't be a burden. Yeah. Like, you know, I know how to say, no, nah. you know what I'm saying? If you ain't my close friend or you ain't my partner, my family, my sister, my niece, or I ain't just giving no bad shit. You ain't yeah. getting shit. You ain't, you ain't help me get this money. That was a very Sagittarius answer of you. Yeah. Very Sagittarius are very, very giving, but on their own terms. Yeah. You ain't help me get this shit. You can't have shit. All right, now. Now, let's talk about tour. You went on the Glockorama tour. What was that like? How was that experience for you? I love tour. That shit was fun. Is that your favorite part of like being an artist? It's starting to be. Oh, okay. They ain't gonna never be my favorite part. My favorite part is the money. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Respectfully. <laughs> yeah, but touring, my touring fun. They they glock on tour fun. I'm ready to go back on tour. I'm finna go on this blue money tour. Period. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. The whole glock on tour. Like I don't be this. That was my third tour. My first tour, I went on the tour with no rules tour with Glock and Doll. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I just went just to go, and I, it turned from me just going to go to uh nah, bro, you finna perform. Then I did every show, then it came the next year, like, ah, oh, you finna, you on the tour now. And then to come to this, this Glaucoma tour, it's like, I was really on the tour. I'm very much part of the tour, getting the bankroll for the tour. Mm -hmm. um, I spent the bankroll, like, every show, I probably threw about $1,000, $1,500 in the The crowd. very next question was, how much money did you actually throw on tour? See, we did 30 some, 30 some cities, and I threw no less than a thousand dollars. So, shit, you, you good in mail, right? Um, yeah, yeah, ish. What's 30 times a thousand? 30 times a thousand is 30,000. Is All right. it? <laughs> this is right. embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, about, it's about what I did. It's a lot of pressure. Okay, so, um, I think that your show is super interesting because. First of all, your presence on stage is just crazy. Like, but then I feel like with the money, it give like, am I at a strip club or am I at a show? Like the way the fans be reaching for it. It's like, a, I've a, never seen no shit like that. It's a giveaway. It's the blue money giveaway. It's innovative. Very, very innovative. think about it. I just did their own Glock tour. So what you think I'm finna do on my tour with these folks for show here for blue money? Is it giving 50,000? It's giving 60, 70. Ooh. Ooh, you paying pills. Period. So I'm saying I give I give to the people who deserve my they streaming my music, they playing my music, they turning up, yeah. they keeping me going. Shit, I ain't got no problem getting some money. Y'all can have some. You seem like when I was watching your vlogs, you seem like you really love your fans. Like, yeah, I love my fans. What type of relationship do you have with your fans? Is like, it like a personal one? Like it's do you personal. Like, it's like yeah. we know we shitting on everybody, but we just we <laughs> letting everybody feel like they you know what I'm saying? Period. They say everything I want to say. I love that. That's why I love my fans. Now, let's talk about Memphis a little bit. I've never been there. And from the vlogs, from the music, not even just your music, but like everybody's music that's coming from Memphis, I really feel like y'all are on like a whole nother side of the world. So what is the energy like in Memphis right now? Because I feel like this is, I'm 24 and this is the most lit I've seen Memphis in all of my 24 years of living. So what is the energy like in the city right now? Ratchet, still. Oh, <laughs> a fun ratchet. Like, a good ratchet. Shit, everybody have a paper. But like either you, if if you, if the person that you affiliated with or around necessarily not there, you still turn up because they know like, oh, you so and so partner or oh, you affiliated with so and so, so and so. It's like it's a lot of people with paper there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's come from nothing. So she just imagine a whole bunch of people that come from shit with some money, right. but everybody cutting up, having fun. Wow. It's mm -hmm. ratchet. You be outside in Memphis? I was just outside. So what is outside like over there? I don't go outside. I don't. I'm gonna tell you, me and Memphis, we gotta, we gotta uh, understand. It's okay. like the more I stay away from Memphis, the more I can be a rapper. I can't sit there because I'm gonna get caught up in what's going mm -hmm. on, and I'm too good at what I do there. I don't need to be there. I love that you understand that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
Yeah, but I just was down there. Cause somebody told me I don't be in Memphis because I'm scared or something. I just had to go down there and kick it real quick. Okay. I, I, I love you been Memphis. outside of New York yet? Yeah. What's more lit? Well, you gonna say Memphis because you're from Memphis. Memphis like, and New York too. You can't compare. You know. Man, I will bet you any type of money in the trenches. Okay. Y'all gonna come back and be like, uh, uh-uh. uh, <laughs> that's too much. I New York can say that about everywhere though. Okay. We think everything outside of New York is just like. I was like, uh, uh-uh. uh, give me yeah. a wife from here. What the guns? It give me a gun, please give me a gun. I'm tell you. Is that what we get? Or that's yeah. what y'all get? No, you got a man. We don't even got tags on our cars. Them phones ain't got mm-hmm. tags on their cars. Like they, everybody on some. Everybody on the way to do something. Everybody finna go kill some, shoot some. Oh wow. Rob some, steal some. Mm-hmm. Folks is crazy. So. One thing that you did mention is the divisiveness in Memphis. And I feel like New York kind of has that same problem where, like, we might get way further if we're all together than um, separated. Do you feel that way about Memphis? Or do you feel like the division is cool? Like, y'all going to get it how y'all get it? I feel like the division cool. Like, okay. y'all do y'all thing. We do our thing. Mm-hmm. Like, they do their thing. Y'all, you do your thing. Like, everybody <laughs> do their thing. You know <laughs> and they own lanes. Yeah, you don't, cause every it, it's already a competition for no reason. Like it's already a bunch of people. Like I'm telling you, I don't give a fuck who it is from Memphis. Like Memphis is not. It's it's probably one or two people that's probably from the suburbs, but mm-hmm. Memphis is like it's so close and so small. Everybody, mm-hmm. come, it's not no billion dollar shit going on there. Everybody come from having shit in some mm-hmm. type of way, shape, or form. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So it's like. For some reason, they feel like if, oh, somebody else coming up, it's going to take away from what they got. But it's like, if everybody you stay in your will. lane and do your thing, yeah. you don't even have to worry about that. Right. But, but if you if everybody together, it's still going to turn the competition. It's going to be close competition. You don't want that. Like, everybody just need to keep doing their thing, keep mm-hmm. going up, put on for the city in your own way. Yeah. And see, if you do fuck with somebody, fuck with them. If not, stay the fuck away from them. Cause you might be like you might be cool with somebody, but your partners might not be cool. And this when it back doing shit, and I, I'm tell you, all right, division perfect. So division is perfect. Division is perfect. <laughs> so we're gonna play a game. What's up? We're gonna call this game translator. Okay. Translator. Translator. So I'm gonna say in New York we say ah ah ah, and I'm gonna tell you what that means, and you tell me what y'all say in uh, Memphis. Uh, uh. <laughs> Like, so, like, yeah, like, uh, like, y'all say, ah, uh, uh, we say, whoop, whoop. Oh, y'all do say that. <laughs> I be hearing that on, um, on like YouTube and stuff. Yeah, whoop, we, say, we say, whoop, whoop. Yeah, yeah. whoop, whoop. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> All right, period. Look at you getting the game started already. All right, so the first one. So when somebody going crazy, we say going cool. Like, you going cool. What y'all say? You plugging. Plugging? You plugging. Plucking? You plugging. Was- no, like, pluck or plug. Pluck. Pluck. Yeah, yeah. plucking. Yeah, you plucking. I've never heard that. Okay. <laughs> the second one, money. We say like bread, breach. We say Kenny. You know what? I like it. Ten out of ten. <laughs> I respect it. At first it was like a but I like it. Okay. So the third one, we got a lot of words for this one. So mm-hmm. for whole, we say trish, duty. Um what you say in the car? Leg. Leg. We still saying shit like thought. Shit mm-hmm. like we just we gonna just say ho. We ain't okay. we ain't finna sugarcoat it. Straightforward. Yeah, like Okay. Ho, use a ho. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so when we condoning, like I'm condoning that, we say jacking. Like, oh your chains they nice, I'm jacking at. I'm jacking those. Man, nobody been not say no shit to me like that what y'all say? Yeah. I think the man outside just said that I'm like, you what? <laughs> you, <laughs> you thought he was trying to steal? I want to finna level. <laughs> no, like, like did you see uh, when I tried to put my scarf on? She was like, no. She have been like, I'm not jacking that. I might just say this hard, like this hard, something like that. Mm, so y'all don't really have a not for that right there. I okay. Ain't, I can just tell you what I say. I'm gonna tell you this hard. I fuck, I fuck with it. Okay. So a weapon. We call it the Knox. 
A whip? Are you calling a what? Knox. A certain Knox. type of weapon. Yeah. What I guess. kind of weapon? TikTok can't use certain words, so we're not going to use the word. My bad. Oh, we say stick. We say... Okay. Blick. We say... Right. The giant... Like... The, the giant? giant is everything. <laughs> Joint is everything. Joint okay. is everything. I say joint for whatever. Hey, where's the joint? At? Hey, bro, I need a joint. Bring me a joint. Where is it? Wow. Man, I'm on 30 minutes from the city, man. Get the joint to me right now. Nah. <laughs> y'all gotta be pulling a wool over the cops' eyes because I would never know what the fuck y'all talking about. Uh, I talk. Still, why I was gonna say, like, they got my own lingo. Like, me and my okay. folks, I talk. So, hey. okay, uh-huh. got it. So, a fat behind, we call that the jack. Like, oh, she got the jack. I just said it as fat. She juicy. <laughs> she, she, oh, uh, my bad. She juicy. Juicy? <laughs> she juicy. Juicy give me like 2000. Juicy. All right. So, someone near and dear to you will be like, oh, that's my heart or muddy. You say my heart or what? Muddy. Money? No, muddy. Muddy? M U D D Y. Muddy. What y'all say? <laughs> <laughs> my hell. <laughs> give me. <laughs> my, give me a sound. Let me think. So like. My, yeah. My partner. Partner? <laughs> my partner. I might say partner if I feel like saying partner, but. Like your friend, yeah, yeah your bro. homie. Like what you say? My dog. Okay. Say we play my dog. Like bro. Yo, what? I be saying bro. Like okay. I refer to my partner like hey, call bro. They know okay. who bro yeah. But you don't call like everybody bro, cause we say bro, but we call everybody bro. Or we use the word bro for everything. Like bro, mm-hmm. you're smoking mine. I say bro to everybody though. Right. Yeah, but but in terms of like my inner circle, that's bro. Like if we say hey, bro, call bro. They know who bro hey, is. Bro, like, bro. when somebody might be talking about me, like, y'all talk to bro today. They know who bro is. It's like, okay. that's how we talk. Okay, got it. We we say za. Za? Za. We? Yeah. Yeah, say za. Za, okay. Za. I like that. When you okay. saying tree. When you saying, uh, what's what? I feel like that's given when you trying to, like. Too much. When you trying to, when you not really, you trying to say it without saying it. No, that's doing, if you walk around saying tree, what else are you talking about? I mean, that's a good point. Zah is Zah. I mean, we say gas too. Yeah, but I feel like everybody say gas. Y'all though. say what? Gas. Y'all Ga- don't say gas? Gas so old. You talking about 2002? You just said juicy. Please. Juicy is juicy. If she juicy, juicy she's juicy. Ju- if she juicy, she juicy. All right. Next one. So if you're in like a, you know a lot of people, you in a lot of friend groups, you just be outside on the scene with mad people. That's the last one. We call that mixy. Groupie. No. Groupie. I don't feel like groupie. Thirsty. Use a hoe. You no. You was outside. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. Because you're making it a negative thing. My bad. I forgot we can't say it on TikTok. <laughs> Group, <laughs> group. No. <laughs> groupie. I feel like, because you could be a good mixie. Like, you just know everybody. Oh, she's mixy. She's a groupie. Or you could be. Damn. It's giving groupie. It's giving groupie. Groupie. <laughs> Friendly, right. friendly, friendly, friendly. Friendly. I'm gonna say something. Mixy out. people are usually friendly. Yeah, friendly as hell. All right. Groupie. Memphis 101. So, while we're on the topic of fun, what do you do outside of music? What's fun to you? I like going on dates. Okay. Yeah. I like. You're a serial dater. I like to cook. Who? You. Am I serial date? Like, I go on a lot of dates? Yeah. Hell nah. Because I asked what you like to do for fun, and that's the first thing you said. <laughs> like, you day. just be doing that. I mean, shit. <laughs> I mean, I go on a date here and there. I ain't got no... I'm not in a relationship. Okay. So, I be chilling. You single, or you still chilling? Because that's what you said on Bootleg Cap. You was chilling. I'm chilling. I'm, I'm cool. Now, because he was a man, he let you get that off. I feel like he should have said, are you single or are you not? Am I, so you asked me, am I single? Or are you not? I'm not single. All right. See, that's a, that's all you had to say. That's a good answer. Single. We love that. It sounds like situation shit. I'm going to be single tomorrow. Mm. 
I just got something to do today, so I ain't saying. Okay. I respect it. Wake up feeling new every day. So you say cook. <laughs> <laughs> you say cook. Mm. What you be cooking? I stay making pasta. I make pasta in rotel dip. It's my favorite thing to make. Pasta and rotel dip. That's what I cook all the time. Hmm. That's what I like to cook. Okay. You I giving, like cheese. You giving Alfredo uh, Alfredo. Alfredo order. Jerk chicken Alfredo. Rasta pasta? Rasta pasta. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I call it. That shit. Well, I guess it's really not rasta pasta if you're not like putting your your peppers and all that in. Who ain't putting their peppers in there? Uh, fuck, I thought. Yeah, you all three of the peppers. All right now, okay. So you be getting chicken in the kitchen for real. Red, yellow, and green. All right. Period. So, what music do you listen to outside of your own and your teams? Whatever come out. So newer stuff. Whatever come out. Genre? Rap. That's it? R&B. Okay. Sometime. Mm. In the bed. <laughs> <laughs> so, who you listening to in R&B right now? In R&B? Yeah. Whoever she turned on. I don't, I, I don't know. She controlled the playlist. Love that for her. Yeah, Love I that ain't for touch you, no, I ain't touching no phone in the room. Okay. Hell no. Nah. What rappers you listen to? Whoever dropped. I ain't saying it to be, to, I ain't doing it to be. Like, my like, thing is, you gotta like somebody. Like, I'm not, every time a rapper drop, you're not going to listen. Nah, it's just so much shit going on and so much nonsense. And okay. I don't want no pause in this shit. Okay, you don't wanna drop no names. I'm gonna tell you, everybody wanna stay out of all shit. I'm staying out of everybody's shit. These folks is bumping. Everybody bumping. Everybody talking that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't trying to be difficult. Like, I don't want to answer. Like, no, I'm, I'm just saying. Like, no, respectfully. These niggas don't even want to do songs with me because they worried about what somebody else going to think. I'm not going to get in our great interview and be, <laughs> say nothing about they hard. It's good music. Y'all. Okay, I listen to it. Are you in tune with the New York rap at all? Am I into New York rap? Are you in tune with New York rap? Yeah, a little bit. The drill scene? A little bit. Mm, little. You like it? You're not really into it? I like how New York folks, I like how, how rude and raw they is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's a new one. I like that. Most people don't like that. I like it. I <laughs> okay. like that aggressive shit. Be aggressive. Talk shit. Yeah. My right? motherfuckers need to stop being so soft. New York folks be like the nigga talking about, I'm jacking it. <laughs> Like that's mad calm. Like this man told me I'm jacking it. Yeah, I'm jacking it. I'm jacking him saying it. I'm gonna show him jacking. <laughs> <laughs> Do you listen to? Well, probably not. You don't listen to like the New York drill girls, right? No. Cause I feel like that's usually like the the New York people. Give me a New York drill girl. Kenzo B. Okay. Like what? Lola Brooke. Lola Brooke bumping. is not. Hold on. Lola Brooke is not a New York drill girl. But she bumping. See, that's my that's thing. The that he would know, though, I listen to whatever hard. She hard. Yeah. I can. She's bumping. Yeah. She talking yeah. shit. Um, I don't feel like any it's ice of spice the, drill. Personally, I don't think so. I think she's outgrown that personally. They say this drill. The beat itself is drill, but like what she's talking about is not, not drill, drill at all. And I feel like she's growing as an artist, so she's um she's diversifying herself. So I feel like she's not a drill artist. Well, personally. She hard. Period. So I saw you post Free Thug. Yeah, Free Thug. And Gunna just dropped a song last night. You just got finished telling me that you listen to everybody. Did you listen to the song? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, this is what I try to tell you, man. <laughs> the type of nigga I am, the type uh -huh. of person that I am, this is what I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. like, I don't play with the feds, and I don't play with the police, and I don't play, I don't, I don't want nothing to do with nothing. Exactly. I don't know nobody, I don't hear, I ain't hear nothing, I don't know nothing. All right. I'm cool. Period. I'm going to read between the lines. So if you well no first of all A O G G was featuring Take Keith beat hard as hell yeah so if you had to lock in with one producer to do a whole project who would it be 
either Tay Keith or my partner Ace. Hmm. Would you ever do that? Like uh, you and producer just, yeah? Yeah. Do you have intentions on it at all or no? One day. Right now, I don't know though. I, only reason I win is because I, I ain't, I need to, I'm telling you, I like rap and I fuck rap and I'm good at this, but mm -hmm. I be needing to keep pushing myself. And if I can do one whole project with one producer, like, I ain't just, it's too easy. I be needing to go listen really? to weird beats and other people. And like, all the people on my projects are unknown people, probably yeah. got a hundred followers and shit like that. Like, right. I just be like pushing myself. Hmm. But I do it though. It's interesting that you said you feel like it would be too easy because I would think that it may be harder given that, like, you have to try hard to not replicate was, the same. Type like, them of two song. people I just told you, I like call Ace and call Take Keep, call Band Play. Hey, hey, bro, send me some beats right now. They're going to send me seven, eight beats, and I'm going to do all seven. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to be like, I don't like this one. I'm going to do all the beats. Okay. Yeah, my man just said I do a mixtape of uh, every two days. Ooh. Why are you going to be putting it out like that? Like, I feel like you're very, I'm going to drop my project, and then it's going to live. And then once it's done, I'm going to drop the next one. Like, you're not like one of those. Because I be trying to get these Friday. niggas, I be trying to let these folks Feel like they doing something. Because if I keep dropping, then people going to realize this shit ain't nothing that y'all putting out. It ain't hard. So I'll I be honest trying to be a team player to the rap game. Okay. Yeah. I love the confidence. Yeah, I'll be trying to be a team player. I can't drop too much. I drop <laughs> too much. It ain't player. fair. It ain't going to be fair. <laughs> okay, so who's your dream collab? Three. I already had my dream collab. Dolph? Yeah, that was the only person. Other than that, really? I ain't. Yeah. Hmm. I'm the I'm the dream collab. I can say I want to do a song with a, a female, but I don't That's know who. I was about to ask. I don't I don't want to I don't know who though. Any female. I just want to do a song with a female, but I want it to be like one of them R and B females though, like okay. a, like a, yeah, them type hmm. of people, or like a damn Beyonce, hmm. or like a Rihanna. Okay, you yeah. and Rihanna is mad funny. Why is that it? Because I just feel like you're so... Well, you don't consider Memphis down south, do you? What? All right. Memphis, <laughs> Memphis is the south. Okay, cool. Glad we're on the same page. Personally, I consider everything below, like, Delaware the south. So Delaware is... What the... F right. Th what that's is why Delaware? I had to ask. Stop. That's why I had to ask. <laughs> right. Del that's why I had to ask. Okay, but we're on the same page. All Memphis right. the south. So, I feel like... Your sound is so southern, mixed with her like pop Caribbean. It would be so like. I like pop. I get in my bag with Rihanna. <laughs> What's your favorite Rihanna song? Umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> nah. I'm trying to tell you. Umbrella. Okay, so we're gonna take it as Rihanna's the his dream club. Rihanna, whenever you pop that baby out and decide, let's do this. And if it, and if this shit don't work out, you got going on over there. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> we love ASAP. We love ASAP. So you mentioned the amount of L's that you took before you finally got that big win. Yeah. How did you bounce back from those L's? She put them on the floor, step on them, and got keep going. Like don't dwell on the L. Keep it moving. That's so Sagittarius of you. What's next? Yeah. We take L's every day. That's so true. But, okay, now, earlier you said that you just been good at it. So, what type of L's were you taking? <laughs> That's heavy? My, I might take L's, you know. My money might get funny here and there. Okay. I might, my, some might happen, family, like, tragic events, some might happen, Partners, just different type of ills. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so not necessarily with the music, but just I'm not life. taking no ill with the music. I don't. I can't lose with this music. <laughs> like this is, this rap game is like it's so easy and so it's like if I just I have never took my time and said I'm finna just rap. Now mm -hmm. I am. Right. Let me show you how easy it is. I'm not gonna lie. I have a friend. Her name is Akia. Shout out to you, girl. She listens to all the the Young Dolph, the Key Glock. And I'm not, like, that's not really my lane too tough. 
but she would post your music but like i said it's not really my lane so i didn't look into it so when i started doing research on you for this interview uh. i was like oh i'm late <laughs> i'm late i'm looking at your youtube videos you got at least half a mil on every single video like i'm like no let me tap in and i'm very happy that i did because you are making really really good music thank you and that's that but that part come from me like like you just said like i don't really be putting out music like i just be i don't i be playing i'm not playing no more though i'm done playing i promise no more playing i ain't playing and we gotta get the socials up yeah. Like, why is your stuff not all over TikTok? Cause I, I like you said, I ain't like TikTok. I like TikTok now. We gotta, we gotta work on TikTok. Yes, we gotta work on TikTok. I like TikTok. Have the people them dancing to your music and stuff. I gotta get somebody to teach me how to do it. I'm still independent. I ain't got. No, you, no. don't, you don't dance. You get them to dance. I yeah. dance. You what? Yeah, I can dance. Okay. You wanna see me dance? Yeah. Nope. Five to seven. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not the pump fake. No, I ain't gonna do those. You gonna I, dance when the camera turn off? I can't dance for real. I'm just talking shit. Oh. Hate that for you. You know my dance? What's your dance? I just start throwing money. It's my way to... That's a good dance. My way to throw it off. Like, yeah, I ain't doing no dancing. That's a good dance. And the fans love it. They love it. Period. So, do you have any last words for us? Do you have anything coming up? Like... I got this blue money to it coming up. I got this blue money to look out. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm in full blue mode right now. Everything new, everything blue. So what was the reception like to Blue Money, the deluxe more specifically? What you mean? Like, what did your, what was your fans saying about it? What was the, the feedback was, you was getting they, back? They in love with this shit. Yeah. Like, they like, oh, he, they they hear it. They hear what I'm on. I'm on one. And I ain't playing. I ain't letting up. I'm telling you, I ain't letting up. You got, mm. Do I need to let up? Not at all. Can you give me a reason like that? Never. Well, there you go. I ain't letting up. Penny money, <laughs> blue money, big money, whole lot of everything, paper out business, long little dolph, man. We're going straight up to the top. Period. Let the people them know where to find you. Yep. Everywhere. All over. The bank. You want to find me, go to the bank. Okay, but can you tell them your social media handles? <laughs> <laughs> it's self-explanatory. Kenny money. I ain't got no underscores. I ain't got no... Okay, but money not even spelled like money. How they don't know money? that. M-U-N-E. How you spell it? Why? How you spell it? M U N E Y. Okay, they know that. Kenny Money, y'all. They M -U -N -E -Y. know how to spell it. Spell it one more time. M U N E Y. There we go. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's Lauren K. Kenny Money. We out.